Hello Virgos, welcome to your September reading. I would like to wish you all a happy birthday and shout out to my sister who has a birthday this month as well. And um, she's grappling with some uh, inner demons right now. So I do feel that um, for a lot of you, there are a lot of changes happening. And you know, you have to embrace the changes because I do feel they are generally very, very positive. So once again, I hate to repeat myself, but um, you know, Jupiter is in your sign. It is going to stay there for another year. So reap the benefits, okay? Don't be afraid to go out and venture out of your comfort zone because um, you will be rewarded for taking risks, all right? Calculated risk, nonetheless. But I do feel as well for the um, later half of this month, there is that troublesome Mercury in retrograde. So don't make major life decisions okay mull it over wait until october and i do feel october is a prime time for all of you um well most of you because um depending on what day of the month you were born but i do feel that it's uh it's looking very very favorable i'm waiting for the fr okay so we do have some few cards that popped out okay so we have the strength card the five of swords the page of swords and the two of swords Okay, let's see here. Okay, so these, I'm going to read these cards as if, you know, they can be upright or reverse because I do feel the way that they fall out, it's a little bit ambiguous. But let's pull the rest of the spread here and gauge the overall energy. So we're starting out with the strength card. And I do feel that for a lot of you, um, strength is all about endurance. It's all about patience. It's all about um, wanting to win the war, not only the battle. Okay, so you're going to have to play smart here. I do feel that for a lot of you too, there is a situation where th definitely disputes are coming through. Okay, we're not going to be able to deny this because um, this indicates to me disputes. And there are three people involved in the spread. So I'm going to say it is definitely relationship oriented, okay? I do feel there might be children involved for a lot of you. So the dispute might be, you know, uh, regarding a breakup of a home situation, like legal disputes. And you both, <clears throat> the, the thing is, um, I'm sensing that you both are trying to, uh, obviously, you know, we want the best for the kids. But I do feel that this isn't a situation where people are trying to pawn off the kids on the other parent. This is a situation where both partners want to keep the kids and they want what's best for the children, which is really very, very good. However, the battle that might be waged between the parents, that's a different story. But we're not going to go there. I just do feel that there is a legal situation or possibly you know you're trying to settle this situation outside of the court and you're trying to you know be your most civil most cordial in dealing with an ex and you might have you know children entangled in the situation so that's something I'm sensing up front um, I do feel that you know um, there is threat of getting getting like lawyers and um, advisors involved but I do sense that it's not going to go through, okay? Like the lawyers, and they, they can be left out of the equation because ultimately I do feel that both parties are going to get what they want or at least you Virgos are going to get what you want. So I do feel that this is going to actually be a swift re resolution so you don't have to worry too much, okay? I feel as well with this card, um, both parties mean well or mutu all the parties involved mean well. But it's just the way that, you know, the energies play out. It can be a little bit problematic. You don't have to worry about it because ultimately you are yourself are very, very patient. And you're, you're exercising your patient in dealing with this situation. So you are trying very, very hard to be your, at your most civil, at your most modest in terms of, you know, asking for what is rightfully yours. But at the same time, in dealing with all these uh, other energies, you are trying very, very hard to accommodate everyone, okay, once again. So I do feel that you're on the right track in this situation, and it would be best to let it resolve itself. I do feel in terms of reaching a resolution, like I said, I do feel it is going to be swift relatively. However, we also have the hangman. So there is a period of suspension, like towards uh, the second and third week, where there might not be communication, okay, where you don't really know how 
things stand. So you might feel a little bit destabilized, and then the situation itself will reach a um, will reach a resolution sometime by the end of this month. I'm sensing because. Um, the Six of Pentacles does indicate a financial payout, and it's also un underneath the wish card. So I do feel whatever it is that you're hoping for, you are going to get your wishes fulfilled, and there's also going to be monetary compensation coming on the heels of that, okay? So it looks very good. There is definitely a financial windfall in the works for you, but um, coming through like towards the end of this month, and possibly even the very beginning or the very first week of October, um... So you can at least count on that, okay? But once again, don't go out and splurge and things like that. I do feel as well on the work environment, you are taking on it upon yourself to really ex expand your territory, I'm sensing, with the Strength card. This, um, Both of these cards indicate to me, this is an emperor in the making. You know, an em emperor expands his empire, right? So with the Strength card, this is a card of a warrior. He's not afraid of battle. He's not a, afraid to um, endure hardship and conflict in order to acquire things and land and people, okay? So back in the days, they um, also amass people. It's not just property. It's physical people. So you're not afraid to expand yourself or you're not afraid of conflict. In, um, you're not shying from conflict in order to achieve what you want. And in the process of acquiring land, people, you know, wealth and riches... I do feel that you are showing other people around you that might um, that might be in a position to to challenge you in the future in the process of doing this. So you're taking more of a preemptive strike this time rather than waiting for your opponents to come through as you have done in the past Virgos. I feel like you're taking a more preemptive strike and you're going to this situation and you're telling uh, them, I need to make the first strike. That way they know how powerful I am. And then they're not going to you know, come around in the future to bug me. So I feel like that's what you're doing in your new work environment. Um, that's also what you're doing in your new relationships as well. So I do feel more of a proactive approach. Um, instead of you know hiding behind the scenes and working behind the scenes, you're taking more of a center stage and you're taking more active control in your life, okay? So it's looking very good. And I do feel that um, these two cards alone indicate to me that um, there's a lot of work to be done this um, this month and I do feel that you know this is no easy task but you have the willpower and the stamina to do it and once you set your mind on something I, I feel like once a Virgo has their mind set on like an end goal they don't really fail so I, I wouldn't um, and it's corroborated as well with this wish card you're not going to fail and also the financial payout as well. So in, in your conquest, you are going to be able to acquire quite a lot of wealth, um, quite a bit of wealth, and also the emotional fulfillment that you need with a job, you know, a, getting a job well done and completing a very difficult task that other people have shied away from. So good for you. I do feel that um, for those of you on the relationship front, things might be a little bit sticky though. So for those who are in committed relationship, I do feel that um, there is a period of compromise coming through. And whether or not you do that, it's, um, it's still a little bit um, trying, okay? It's hard for you and your romantic partner to see eye to eye. And for those who are still in a committed but loving relationship, I feel, you know, not when you're separated and on the verge of divorce, even though you're still together, uh, that doesn't count. So... Um, for those who are still in like committed and loving relationships, I do sense that um, your partner, okay, so there might be a family planning issue coming through. Um, so one party might want children, one party might want to escalate the, the relationship, take it to the next level. One party might have, you know, you might have your career um, in order, or your partner might want to work on their career and then you might want a family. So it can play both ways. But I do feel this is something that is needs to be debated between the two of you. And I do feel that one party definitely when it comes to children, whether or not to have them, there's always going to be a sacrifice. Okay, So I do feel with the hangman, there's also somebody sacrificing or at least um, putting their career on the back burner in order to um, achieve more stability in the home and especially in order to um, it's basically like putting your life on hold but I, I hate using that phrase because it sounds so negative 
you know, children are a blessing. So I do feel that either way, a compromise is going to have to be reached. And unfortunately, one party is going to have to relent and let the other person win. So this can mean, you know, sacrificing children to keep your partner happy or sacrificing your job in order to make your partner happy. And it can come from your partner or it can come from you. Okay, this doesn't always mean that you are the one sacrificing because I do feel that you have a new drive, a new set of ambition coming through. You're really forging ahead with your career path. So I don't feel that you're the one making the sacrifices here. So it might be on your relationship partner, okay? So I do sense that coming through for a lot of you. And I also feel as well that things are looking um, very positive on the career front. At least you're gaining traction, you're gaining ground, you're defending your empire, you're building your empire. You're adding more wealth, more people to, to whatever it is your team to your household as well and as a result the, the possibilities are just basically endless and it's looking very very positive um, for those of you who are in relationships especially with a um, okay so I'm going to have to say this and it needs to be said so I do feel that for a lot of you who might be in, in a marriage situation okay I do feel that for those of you who are married with the Empress card there might be some dissatisfaction in the relationship um, you might be in a relationship already and you might have, you know, a mister or a missus on the side, particularly a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, so those are the two options that I'm sensing here. For those of you in committed relationships, um, I do feel you or your partner, not all of you, if you're in an unhappy marriage situation, I do feel somebody is definitely stepping out, okay? If you're in an unhappy relationship, you or your partner, um, I do sense there is like a water sign and an air sign in your mist, and it is corroborated, once again, by the Two of Swords, which indicates, you know, balancing act, but also indecisiveness when it comes to who it is that you want to to, to date, but also if you should stay in your current unhappy relationship or if you should step out of it altogether, okay, so severing ties. And I do feel that um, your partner, especially if you're a male Virgo, I do feel if you're, if you're a Virgo and you're in a relationship with um, a person in a committed relationship and the other per and you're not happy and the other person is not happy, I do feel that one or both parties can stray, okay? I do sense that one or both parties can stray from the relationship because there is definitely a lack of emotional involvement here. So this is something that you really should decide whether or not you want to continue, okay? For those of you who are involved with a uh, water sign, this is um, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I do feel that... Um, I feel that this person can be a little bit um, wishy-washy, okay? So they, he or she is showing up in the reverse position. And I do feel there is definitely emotional rapport, emotional investment, okay? So you, you feel greatly uh, tied to them. But I'm sensing here that... Um, I'm sensing here that um, they're really not sure where they want to steer the relationship. They're really not sure how they feel about you. They're really not sure if you're somebody that is long-term. And I do feel that they are looking for somebody long-term. In terms of the stability that you bring into the relationship, I do feel that you help ground them and you help provide them with... Um, for some reason, I'm sensing you provide them with a lot of financial abundance, okay? Okay. So I'm going to say that and leave that alone and, you know, hopefully you get the message and I do feel most Virgos do. So if you are in a relationship where you feel like you're financing everything and it's not really fair, just reassess what it is that you want. And I know that, you know, with relationships to help you acquire land, wealth and people. OK, so both of these relationship partners look very fruitful if you're thinking long term, if you're thinking short term. We also have the water sign in the mix, so that's something you might want to consider if it's just for short term. But in terms of like expanding your territory, expanding your networks, and if you are in a work situation where you have to pick somebody for your team, go with the fire sign, go with the air sign, because they're going to help you rule and control and um, 
regulate your domain, okay? So it looks very uh, favorable on the work front as well. So um, Virgos, a lot of new energies are coming through for you. You're going to have a lot of financial abundance and emotional fulfillment, okay? So um, a lot of love relationship partners are coming through. I am sensing that for a lot of you Virgos, especially like men, I also feel it for females. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of like um, a little bit too much like um, attraction on the work front that might, I mean, it makes work exciting, but it's a little bit too jarring is what I'm sensing. A lot of tension, frustration on the work front, but in a good way, you know, a lot of like flirtation too. So just be careful about that. And especially when it comes to like pregnancy, you want to really be careful about this, okay? Um, I'm sensing as well that you don't have to worry about financial gains. There is one coming through. You don't have to worry about this being a very, um, you know, busy month. I do feel that you are busy pretty much the first two weeks. And then after that, you have a little bit of a um, quiet time to relax and wait and on the on things culminating or things coming to fruition okay so have a wonderful birthday month i will see you um, next week possibly for the weekly reading and happy birthday to all of you um, if you'd like a private reading contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com and uh, my website can be found below in the description box okay i'll talk to you soon have lots of cake and ice cream <laughs>